this is Jillian Gordon for Beauty Launchpad. We're here at ICA's Fall Atelier, and I'm sitting here with uh, ICA Color Council Creative Director, Logic Spokesperson, Colorist Extraordinaire, Miss Gina Khan. How are you, Gina? Thank you. Thanks for that introduction. <laughs> And uh, Gina's going to be presenting Decades of, Ho of Hollywood, correct, That's at the right. Trend Lunch today. Um, what can we expect to see? So um, Gina Khan is jumping out of her box today. It's going to be completely different from what we normally do. Um, what we're doing is we're representing different eras in Hollywood. So we're starting with the 20s, and then we jump to the 40s, and we jump to the 50s, 60s, um, 80s, and then now. And um, the goal is, our concept was how we reach to the past to uh, influence now. And um, for example, the most obvious recent example is um, Marilyn, who's on the cover of Vogue and of this month and because of her movie, I mean the play and so on. So that's what happens in the fashion world and the hair world. We really go into the archives and find ways to put something old but make it new. And that's really what uh, our event today is going to be, is taking the old and then making it new. Some of it is going to be a little extreme, some of it will be in the middle, and some of it will be old. So that's what we're doing, and it's going to be done to the music and the movement of Hollywood and that's the part that I've never done before so jumping right out of my box I'm quite excited very cool and uh, you mentioned Marilyn but what were some of the other Hollywood icons that inspired the color that we're gonna see today um, we have Rita Hayworth beautiful reds we have um, Elizabeth Taylor beautiful rich shiny chocolate we have um, now hair Lady Gaga <laughs> We have Beyonce slash J-Lo modern afro, which is going to be very exciting. We have Tina Turner, which I love. You guys will love that. So we have a really wide spectrum going from really old glamour to rock, really. Sounds phenomenal. And um, I know last night, uh, Lois let us know that the ICA Color Council is now going to be global. What can you tell us about that? So Interquafia USA owns the Color Council. It's trademarked for Interquafia USA. And uh, we are going to be presenting it around the world and bringing um, the American hair color, the beautiful hair color that we do here in America which, in my opinion, no offense to anybody, is the best hair color in the world. So, because not only do we care about the color, obviously, and make it modern and fresh, but we care how we get there, and we care about the quality of the hair, so hair is always beautiful coming out of, you know, yeah. into Kofi. Yeah. It absolutely is, and um, you mentioned obviously that I would say that we have the best hair color, but also you do such a phenomenal job with that hair color. And speaking of hair color, um, as a Logix spokesperson, what is it about the Logix color that you like so much? So for many of you who don't know, I've been a Logix devotee for 25 years. And the reason I love it is because it is a pure tone color. What does that mean? That means it has no pre-blend, nothing pre-mixed into it. So it's like having a, a paint box and we pick different things and mix it to what we want it to be. So instead of um, taking something that's pre-blended by somebody else, we create our own colors. So that's what Pure Tone does. It doesn't have any pre-blend in it. So it's a very creative hair color. And the, with a very small palette, the options are limitless. And you get clarity and brilliance from this color. In fact, what I like to say is that with Logic's hair color, the hair appears to have the light shining from the inside out. With a pre-blended hair color, the you, the color feels like it's sitting on the hair. So that's the difference. 
All right. Well, we can't wait to see what you have in store for us today. Thank you so much, Gina. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so looking forward to it. I'm very excited. I do have um, a little bit of um, butterflies. <laughs> And um, that's one of the things I always challenge myself and my team is to try and do something different and get out of our, our comfort zone. And that's what keeps us growing and motivated. As I always say, if you're green, you grow. Mm -hmm. And if you ripen, you rot. <laughs> so we try to stay as green as possible. <laughs> Fantastic. Good so luck today. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.